Well, good morning. Welcome back to Marwell Manor. Uh, another rainy morning. We got the uh, our tractors in the shop there to get repairs and maintenance and so on done, uh, which it definitely needed. It was getting pretty uh, pretty worn down, and it was just the time. I had enough hours on it to get the job done. So uh, with that going on and with the rain happening here, uh, I was offered this job by a local guy, Anthony, uh, to... Uh, seed in some barley for him so got after that here uh, around six this morning and um, but it was close to the farm so might as well get her done um, there's a lot of fields locally here that are in need of harvest uh, harvesting but it's raining so I kind of got rid of us there so I do like those jobs uh, just like how much they pay typically they are a little bit more work with the carding than say this one's gonna be but uh, at the end of the day, <clears throat> you usually make a little bit more money, so, but just about done here anyway. Um, I don't think our tractor is going to be done for a little bit. Uh, it did say it was going to get done first thing this morning, but I don't think we're going to be in any rush for it anyway, so it's all good. Um, where are we at here? Oh, I guess I got to put the, usually helps when you lower everything down. Last little bit we have this job done so the only downside I mean again when you're doing these type of jobs is you do have to purchase uh, the seed and, and did borrow the uh, <clears throat> tractor and the, and the sower here so that would all because I don't have that so that does take down our, our cost uh, or our um, the money we're going to receive from doing the job but that's okay Take it back up. We're gonna have a little bit of seed left over, just under, just didn't quite make it. I bought 2,000 liters, hoping uh, that was gonna be enough, and it was. Um, but it would have been even better if it was only used 1,000 liters, because uh, that would have been, uh, you know, what we could have could have had a whole thousand liters left over. But that's okay. So we're gonna finish this contract up. Uh, actually, I probably didn't even, I didn't even notice. Maybe we were done the contract after about a thousand liters, but that's all right. So, uh, about $3,600, almost $3,700 on this one. Um, collect that up and the rest, I mean, there's a lot of bailing, which we do enough of that on our own. I don't really want to pick up another job doing that. It's a lot of work goes into bailing for a very, uh, very little return where when we're doing it for ourselves, uh, we're feeding our, our dairy cattle it makes a big difference so um this is what i've decided to we are going to shoot for number nine uh sixty eight thousand dollars number nine field here big grass field uh we are a dairy farmer at the moment so i i feel getting another grass field and expanding that so, and uh, making sure we have enough food for the um the cattle we have and uh any extra then of course we can do for silage and make extra money that way uh, we are going to buy into that bioglass gas plant with the other guys our cost can be just under twelve thousand. again not too bad there so i think if we have uh, i'm going to probably go for this number nine field here sooner than later um just so we can get going on uh stockpiling um resources uh hay grass silage so on and then uh, we're going to get into that biogas plant. Um, there's lots of other grass fields around here. I believe 10 and 12 are. Uh, we've got the arable fields right next to us, which are two and three. Two would be a nice arable field to have um, just because it's, it's the cost and it's right there. I mean, obviously it's three with two, but it costs a little bit more. So I think that's what we want to do. I'm going to go nine first. Um, then we'll probably do the biogas plant before we get another field. And then, uh, and then we'll go back to getting other fields. And if we have extra cash in the middle of all that too, we do want to expand and, and grow our um, head of cattle too. So get out of here. Um, so for the now, uh, our milk price has come down uh, throughout the night. So we're at about 1,100 uh, liters there. We have 9,300 liters of milk. So we have a full tanker load uh, for a little tanker we have. No problem there. So... It is going to be tempting to, um, even if we have to lease a small trailer, 
we can lease one. I don't even know. The only thing will be is if we get the price back, if it's worthwhile. It may not be worthwhile for a one load, a manure, um, to sell that. Uh, so, we're at 113. So it's not going to be a pile of money for you know 2,500 bucks roughly or something like that. Um, and that's probably what it's going to cost to, to lease the trailer. So I think we'll hold off on that. Um, our silage pricing isn't incredible or anything right now on that. But I think once we have the bioglass pant, we'll be more worried about that. Right now, I think we just need to keep our cattle, our Ayrshire uh, fed and looked after. We've got to go do some cleanliness on them once we get our tractor back. And uh, we'll just keep drawing on that. So not much we can do right now with the rain. I don't think our grass, just comparing it to the other levels of grass that we didn't cut yesterday, is quite ready. I think we got a little, one more growth stage to go. I mean, we could cut it now, but um, yeah, it is tempting because it's raining and, and it is a job that apparently we can do in the rain. If Another contract i like to pick up it would be to harvest this uh, soybean if, if it's still available. So you can see off in the background there are some other fields uh, that need harvesting. I'm not sure if we can get those contracts or not, but um, I would like to get another wheat uh, or barley uh, contract. And um, since it's not part of the contract to pick up the straw, I'd like to actually pick up the straw, bale it for ourselves, Let's see if they'll let us keep it. If we can keep that, that is a uh, huge bonus uh, for us also. So. Um, Looks like all the cows are sleeping at the moment while they're standing. Just a mud pit over here right now. Uh, but everything over here is pretty good. We just got to do some cleaning up. Clean up this area and that'll keep us keep us moving forward. So, um, yeah. So that's kind of the plan uh, for a bit here. That's going to be our plan for purchasing, future purchases. Um... I need a little like a little hand mower to get back in here and, and mow that grass, but um, yeah. Another other thing is to get rid of some of these leases as we go also, so truck probably, um, the truck we're renting, so that's costing us. I'm not sure why I still have the truck, but it does come in handy when you only have one tractor. Uh, another tractor would also be handy, especially when it comes to our mowing and windrowing and bailing. Um, you need a tractor for the wife and then maybe possibly again eventually upgrading the new holland but uh for right now that that tractor is just perfect for us so well that's where we're sitting right now it's raining uh we could look at other options here while we're waiting but again like i said it's all bailing we could do a tr transport would be tough probably since our tractor is in the shop so silage one so go through all that mow it get it all together bale it silage it and then get thirty four hundred dollars so i have a hard time thinking that's worthwhile i mean we can use our own equipment but even then it's it's uh it's almost not really worthwhile so um i know we can't sell these anymore but it's too bad we couldn't we got some seed we got Dry fertilizer, liquid fertilizer now. So when those when it stops raining, we can look at those jobs potentially also um, when they come up. So, but I think until uh, hopefully the tractor will be done here pretty quick, and um, I don't know, maybe even tempting just to get this mowed up anyway, uh, as it is something I can be doing while it's raining. Anyway, see you in a bit. Alright guys, so we got our tractor back here this morning, um, all the maintenance is done, uh, oils, fluids, stuff like that, uh, $627 roughly to get that maintenance done on the big, on the old tractor here, so, um, but it's our money maker, so that's, uh, that's kind of got to keep it rolling in, in order to keep our investments moving, so we will, uh, head back down to the farm here and find uh, something to do so 
like I said, I'm, looks doesn't look like the rain's gonna let up. Uh, I think I'm gonna run, grab the uh, mower, and uh, run the mower on here. So I don't. Uh, I was gonna check. Oh yeah, we're gonna clean up the cattle. Is what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. I'm gonna grab the bucket and then head down and we'll clean those guys up and get their production back to where it's supposed to be. No, I missed some here, so let's see if I can clean it up. Hopefully that's going in. To the feed again. It looks like it did. So we can get a little bit beside it too while I'm at it. Use our little gauge at the bottom to sort out where we are. Got that. Yeah, so it was a bit of a mess on my own doing. Oh, did not take that in there, accept it at all. So, all right. Well, let's check the cleanliness of them anyway should be going up hopefully we're gonna be good for uh, hay silage grass we're gonna be good for all these things for a while water is good um, hopefully our water tank is either empty or relatively empty so eventually we can sell our milk with it um, in a little bit of time nothing's changed with milk so that is fine for now we'll just keep stockpiling it All right, so just back here, um, got the grass all mowed and thought I'd take another look here at the contract and check a few things out. Uh, came across field number one, again, uh, fertilizing, but it's a $10,000 job, minus that we'll have to um, uh, borrow this uh, equipment here to do it, but uh, get $9,000, whatever, out of that is always a bonus, so it keeps us moving forward. It's still raining out, so we don't have a lot of uh, options uh, elsewhere, elsewhere, so... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to borrow the items here, and we're going to hop in here. I'm probably going to have to buy another, um, some more liquid fertilizer. I believe that's what all this one will take, so that is okay though. We will do what we got to do in order to, this these type of jobs just pay so well that you just can't go wrong, so. Um, 
Let's see if I can back up this direction. Will that let me? There we go. See, I'm not even sure how much I got left in this one anymore. But I know we always, yeah, I'm going to do one more at least here. Uh, fertilizer tank. We'll buy that. Hopefully, that'll be enough. But I know we always end up doing field one, but you just can't uh, you just can't go wrong with field one. It's it's a big field, therefore everything you do on it uh, pays so well. So I'm gonna head over f to field one, and uh, we'll get after this job. All right, we made it to field one. We're just getting started on the uh, spraying the fertilizer, liquid fertilizer on the field. Um, this is a nice wide, it's a huge sprayer, I like this one. A uh, little difficult to see from inside the cab with everything being on the complete on front of it, but uh, that's okay. Not missing my edge there. But this job, I don't think it's going to take too long, so uh, as long as our uh, fertilizer does last to the end, I think we'll, uh, we'll do some pretty good on the profit here, since we only had to buy one uh, 2,000 liter uh, tank. Uh, pallet of it so let's see what uh, it's been in here but let me get this job uh, rolling closer to the end here and we'll be back in here. So we completed that contract, we're just heading back now to the uh, shop to unload our uh, fer liquid fertilizer that we have left over at 1600 liters. Um, then return the equipment and uh, receive the payment for the contract completed. So we're still raining, it was a quick job, this is a big sprayer, had to sort out, uh, figure out what the overlap was on the sprayer in order to get that correct. Um, as I, I did find that the very end nozzles weren't... Uh, weren't doing any coverage so um, but other than that that was a quick quick job before lunch here so not too big a deal but hopefully it looks like we have sun in the forecast for this afternoon so we'll see what comes up and what we can accomplish this afternoon um, if we get a little sun so we'll check uh, our milk prices also and maybe we'll get a little load of that done here uh, by the end of the day I did move the tanker and the tractor over there as you saw so but we'll get up here. I'm going to unload. Uh, so far, nobody's complained yet that I keep storing my my stuff up here, our leftovers. So let's uh, we'll drop that there. Uh, perfect. And uh, we'll get this we'll get out of here. Shut her down. Let's go back here. So, oh, just about $9,000 on our contract. So we'll take it. And I don't think there's anything else I really want to do. Harvest field two. Once it's done raining, oh, field two I wouldn't mind doing, even though it's not the biggest paying job, but it's, it would be a quick and close job uh, to do. But we're not going to accept that until it stops pay, uh, raining out. So, uh, And I mean, if there's any leftover, we'll probably get a little extra out of it too. So that could be... Um, I could still be a three or four thousand uh, dollar project there. So, what are we at? We're fifty six thousand dollars. We needed what sixty eight thousand dollars to buy f our uh, our new fields over here, which will be raring to go for uh, mowing. I'm sure as soon as we buy them. Uh, I guess then the other thing to do, to look at investing in is a uh, larger mower system, um, just to make this. Uh, if we're going to have that much extra grass and fields to mow. Uh, we could speed up that process with a bit larger of a mowing system, even if we just get a front mower uh, for the front of our tractor, as long as we have enough power to power the both. So, but I'm heading off for lunch. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get back. Well, we're after lunch here, <clears throat> just after one, and we're still raining. Um, just checking the job field again. We did pay, have us uh, another uh, liquid fertilizer um job we're gonna field three so again another close one i think i'm gonna grab it get her done 
um, make the extra, I don't know, it's not going to be very much, um, $3,000 probably, because we're going to have to, again, uh, borrow some items. So, But it's still raining, so let's get that after. We'll get after that. So These ones are, you just can't kind of go wrong with them. Especially when they're that close. There's nothing else we really need uh, to be rushing and doing right now, so making making extra money is seems to be uh, the smart play. So I don't know if I'm going to need to buy. Let's get us out of the trees here. I don't know if I'm going to need to buy more because we were just under, I think, two thousand. And I, this field's pretty small, but uh, you know what? We're going to try it anyway. We can save our costs and get it all done uh, without needing to buy another 2,000 liters, and we will. We'll be that much further ahead, so. Alright, so we're going to get this field all fertilized um, for another little contract. Not a big one, but it's uh, a quick and easy and close to uh, our farm and shop kind of type of contract, so I don't know, I just can't go wrong. Um, just kind of thinking this was uh, my very first episode in Marwell Manor. This is a field and exactly I think what we were doing, we were fertilizing this field. So nothing like coming back to it. Uh, like what are we, 11, roughly 11 episodes later or so if, I, if I'm thinking correctly. But yeah, so hopefully our 1600 liters of uh, will, will fit all in one on this field. I try not to get caught on this, but I have a feeling we're caught. Let's try this again. So we're going to come around. There we go. Let's just keep her tight. And we'll run right around here. That'll work. Not to get too much overlap, but the way we're going, I'm thinking we're going to be able to get it all done. So, um, with this one, one load, unless, unless I miss too much stuff and have to waste it on fixing that. But all right, we're on a roll here. I'm going to get this completed. Well, another contract finished, and we still have 866 liters of uh, fertilizer, so uh, we'll be a drop in the bucket for our next fertilizer job, probably, but um, it's always good to have a little, little something to work towards the next one. Get that dropped off, we'll get the tractor and sprayer returned. And then we'll collect our little bit of money. So 33, not bad, and we already paid for the other stuff, so can't go wrong there. Collect that up. Now again, for jobs, if we were looking to keep ourselves busy today, we're $2,600 uh, for that harvest on field number two, but we're still raining, so that's not so fun. I'm getting real tempted to want to just sell this uh, milk, though. Um, Fortunately, it's not moving. It's, it seems to have bottom, bottomed out at $1,100 there. I know it can get to 13 so it's not like we're taking a huge hit. Um, but, I mean, every little bit counts, especially when you're running in the small numbers here. Um, but it is tempting. Uh, it would be nice to... Uh, that might... Well, it's not going to put us there, but we uh, we could easily go take a load in. I think this gives us 8,700, I believe, is what it holds. And if that's the case, uh, at 1,100, that's 70, oh, 7,300. A lot less, so we're not going to be at our 68,000 for sure uh, by then. But I'm going to rip this down. I'm going to get this sold, and then um, we'll see where we're, where, where we're at. All right, just pulled into uh, 
dairy here. And uh, let's unload our milk. See how close that gets us to 68. Might might be perfect 10,000 actually, but we are getting there. Very, very close. We are going to have running costs uh, by the end of the day, so not bad if we... Uh, uh, far off my 10,000 guess, but uh, we don't want to be completely drained of money because um, we don't have any overnight income, but we do have overnight expenses from uh, some of our buildings and some of our lease and rental equipment. So um, we can't be completely broke when we buy our new new property. So yeah, uh, because uh, again, that will take some time for it to uh, uh, turn that into a prof profit. So I'm gonna head back to the farm. Well, I think what I want to do is um, it's raining so much. I'm gonna get rid of these bales. Uh, these four, I believe they are just grass, but uh, I'm gonna blast those into. Um, the cows there since they're wet and they're not gonna last forever being wet like that so um i should probably get those put somewhere useful and then uh, i think we'll sell some of our silage bales even though they're not going to be at the best price but in doing so we can probably get started work on um we'll be able to get started work on our new new field so let's get this going here And I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna unload uh, a bunch of these bales as I take out the truck. It's, you know, it's, it's a rental, um, and uh, we'll do that up. All right, so we got rid of all our grass bales uh, to the to our cattle. So I mean, there there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I was kind of looking at what we have left over for everything else, uh, and I think we're going to be good for a little bit. And it's not going to take much. We already have one uh, of our, our our main field there is already mowed. So if we need more hay or silage, uh, we're going to we're well off with that already. So what I'd like to do though. If I can maneuver this, is uh, we're just going to sell all these silage bales that we have, and that should get us into a good position. Now let's see if I can back this up. I'm going to try and back this in and uh, see if I can unload these correctly but I do not particularly like like backing up these trailers very much let's see where are we I think uh, I might just do it all right we got those bales sold that gave us a uh, good little income so we're now at seventy five thousand dollars and I do believe um, that is something we can live off of Let's hopefully get out here safely. So we're going to take the trailer back. Um, we're still raining. I mean, by tomorrow we should hopefully have a better price and more milk to sell also. So, Well, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna pull the trigger on this here. I think we're going to do up the paperwork. Uh, we're going to buy field number nine and uh, uh, expand their farm. 
So let's go down here. $68,000. It'll leave us with about $7,000, I believe, left. Uh, and uh, we own another field. So that paperwork is all complete. Money's paid. We made a huge purchase for today. And we're going to get on the tractor. Now, I know this is a grass field. I know uh, not much has been done with it here. So we can easily easily go grab our our mower and uh, probably head straight over there and, and do a cut on it uh, I know that doesn't sound all that exciting if you've been following along and seen me mow grass but we'll cut around on it we'll do some jump cuts and editing and but we'll get the we got to get it done because that's uh, that's our money maker so we sold all our silage bales to get there so it'll be looking to We'll be wanting to get uh, more silage bills made up. Perfect. So I'm going to get this going. It's not too far away. It's a, it's a little little track over to that one, but it's uh, it's pretty close. I do like the field also. It's close to the BGA. Um, so when we do decide to get into that, uh, hopefully within the next couple of days, um, That'll be also incredibly handy, so but I can head over to that field. I'll see you there All right, well welcome to our new field. Uh, this is uh, this is it a Whole pile of grass kind of a nice view. I don't mind that I think we got the horse. Uh, there's some horses and stuff down uh, in the buildings down below uh, just down the hill there um, the BGA the cell point uh, animal store, all that kind of stuff. Our dairy, everything's over just straight in front of us there. So we're not too far from anything at all. But we do have a lot of grass to mow. This is a, a bit bigger of a field than our last one, our main one, up at the farm. And uh, I mean, it, it also hasn't been gouged out for, for a cattle pasture. So we will... Uh, We'll get it mowed up and windrowed and between this one and, and the other one, we're going to be quite the increase in, uh, in bales that we, that we have. So that's exciting. We're, we're expanding. Uh, it only took uh, a, f a while to do it, but uh, that's, that's how it works. So when you're trying to stick with uh, cattle as your main income, but we are looking to uh, increase, of course, other, other means of income, but then, uh, could take some time take some time for sure so but let's see all right i'm gonna get to work um you don't need to listen to me repeat myself over and over again so i'll be back here in a bit once i learn how to drive perfect Alright, just finishing up the last piece of grass on this new field of ours. Um, we'll get it all done and then I'll run over it. I think we're going to windrow this one up and we'll just keep it going here. We'll finish off our day uh, working this field. It doesn't look like it's going to let up the rain uh, by the end of the day. So, uh, and I like it or not, I like to jump this curb.
All right, now that's the windrowing done. So we got lots of grass here to get bailed up. Head back to the farm again. Hopefully not crashing anything this time. All right. What are we at here? Five o'clock. We have a little bit of sunlight yet left today. Uh, it is too bad that it's so wet out. Um, probably shouldn't be bailing uh, when it's raining. Uh, or mowing or windrowing. But um, it is something that we have uh, to do. So I think um, we get the windrow put away. Uh, this grass is already starting to grow back, so that might get a second cut yet before we bother windrowing that all up and, and bailing it. And that'll be fine. That'll just add to our, our stockpile uh, as we go. So, But I'm going to get this put away. Um, and it's to do things kind of more, uh, a little bit more proper, might just call this a, a rain day and we'll get started. Tomorrow is going to be a uh, bailing and uh wrapping day so i think we're gonna f we're gonna do that whole field up as um silage so that whole field will be silage this field here uh, be tempted to do probably um we might just leave it as grass uh but we'll see um but i want to do silage uh, maybe a little extra income from the silage also might as well start building that up for when we do have the bga and then also for our cattle so but we'll see how it goes from there. I gotta go sp uh, spend some time with the kid in the rain and uh, probably see how things are going. So, all right. Anyway, we'll call her a day now and we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Thank you.